Well, whatever time of day or night it is with you, welcome along to a game which is threatened, I have to tell you, by a rather forbidding weather forecast. The expectation is for quite heavy rain as the game grows older this evening. It hasn't arrived just yet, but it will do shortly. Glad to report, though, that that hasn't affected the crowd, who are here in good number and indeed in good voice. And the game will be underway very soon. Here's a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. And to what we've been told, this is how it looks. It's a 4-3-3. Yeah, Peter, you can look at this formation one minute and think that it is 4-3-3, and the next time you check it'll be 4-5-1. And it's all to do with whether you've got the ball or not. And the wider attacking players being asked to apply defensive discipline too when it does turn to a five across midfield then the shape of this team takes on a much tidier compact defensive look so we're up and running Jim who do you pick out as the telling individual today yeah Romelu Lukaku his physical characteristics are very impressive they're always likely to attract the most attention of course, but for me, it's not just that he's big and he's quick, it's his willingness to, to go direct with the ball at his feet, to take his man on, be brave and just head for goal. That's what makes him quite lethal. I think the opposition defence agree too. He's going to be the source of so many of their headaches. Battles to win it back, and it's Lukaku. And here's Lukaku. Ashley up. Tries a shot! D'Ambrosio. Lovely bit of skill. Tries to switch the play. Well, there's a lot of movement out wide now. Yeah, you can certainly see that. Well, I think it's a move to open the game up more, whether out wide or, or just getting a runner through the middle now. Gagliardini. Benevento. Yet to have a shot on target. It's good distance on it. And it's been taken straight back. Brozovic. D'Ambrosio. He's got the ball glued to his feet. Played into space out wide. And that's been levered clear. Hoists it forward. Plays it out to the wing. Well, they could break here. Great strength. Too strong for his opponent. Gagliardini. Ashley Young. Ashley Young switches it towards the other side. And here's Lukaku. He's away. Lukaku! Lukaku really just wasn't quick enough then. Well, his thinking certainly wasn't. Didn't make use of what I felt were some very good options. D'Ambrosio gets his foot in there. And he's certainly caught in there, it's a free kick. Good take by the keeper, he's read that well. And it's played forward. Oh, good interception. And it's Hetemai. Forward it goes. Well positioned to make that interception. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal. And he didn't go for the back heel. Gagliardini takes it over to the other flank.
Gagliardini. And here's Ashley Young. Chance! Dashing forward at pace. Tries to get it forward quickly. And that'll be the final action of the first half. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Reflections on the first half? Well, they look lost for ideas and, and lacking in talent, which all contributes to a, a chronic case of impotence. Interesting half, just missing goals, so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil there. If you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Benevento can be very glad that half-time came when it did. Poor possession and very little firepower means they need a serious pickup in this second half. No guts, no glory. And here's Lukaku. It's Lukaku! Oh, what a wonderful stop! Lukaku sparked a tremendous stop there, and I think it's fair to add, he just wasn't expecting it. Final checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. Knocks it away. And here's Brozovic. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Nashul cuts it out. Well, that's where he wants it. He's got the shot at goal! D'Ambrosio. Brozovic. Drives it forward. Lukaku. Puts it into the middle. Tries to locate someone up front. Brozovic. Looking crossfield, changing the point of attack. Nil-nil the score, and we're just about done. A deep chance! He has done it! And finally, he has breathed life into the game! Looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Well, we certainly had to wait for it, Peter. Now a difficult decision. Is it stick or twist? Cotin. Brozovic. Almost 75 minutes on the clock now. Your impression so far, Jim? Benevento are not doing enough to get themselves back in the game. They're not as threatening as their opposition. It's got to change. Ball's gone out of play. Yeah. 
D'Ambrosio. D'Ambrosio. D'Ambrosio on a strong run down the right. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. And it's D'Ambrosio. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Petsamai. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Lukaku. And he nearly went all the way. Oh, that's an excellent try. And once he picked it up, he headed forward with real intent. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Shoots! It's anyone's ball. I think it's time for them to concentrate on closing this one out. Maggio looking to hit the front line. Gets into a dangerous position. Has a pop! Lukaku. And that is that. So it ends 1-0. An enthralling game and an agonisingly narrow defeat. Well, there's no shortage of effort and commitment from them. They were just undone by that second half.